Hello everyone, I am Shivani and welcome to Civil Series. So this is the third video from the WRD exam which was conducted in December and in the previous two videos we had completed 25 questions and remaining questions are completing in this video. So the first question or the question number 26 is dash dash are the vertical sides of an opening for doors and windows. Okay, so these are the options and here they ask the vertical sides of an opening of doors and windows. Okay, so here this is the figure related to the door and the vertical opening in this door is jam. Okay, vertical opening in the door or in the window called as jam. So option number first is correct. So let's discuss the remaining options also for more conceptual clearance. So sill. So this is the sill and sill is the lowermost part of window and uh, the sill is present only in the window not in the door. Then next this is revels. So revels is uh, the supporting part which is present in the window and reveals are the vertical part of window then lintel okay lintels are present in doors and windows too and these are the lintels in door and window which supports the brick masonry which is which comes on the upper side of this part Next question number 27. When brickwork is set with a fine joint. Okay. Brickwork is set with a fine joint. It is usual to fill the interior joints with a thin liquid mortar. So this process is called as and the options are these. And here they ask it is usual to fill the interior joints with a thin liquid mortar. Okay. Thin liquid mortar in an interior joints during brickwork is called as grouting. Okay, so option number one is correct here. Then next, discuss about the remaining options which is more important. Then layering. Layering is the motor fill in the vertical joints to make it strong. Then shoring. Here these are the shorings which are inclined or horizontals and which are typically made from timber and metal props and these shorings are used to support the building and structure which are in danger or which are in uh, during the repair or during the alterations or during the excavations these shorings are used the next is cap holding scap holding is a temporary structure and that typically made with metal poles or the wooden planks and to support the construction workers and inspectors, cleaners and others who need to work at height. So these are the scap holding. I think these type of scap holding uh, you will see in the Bibika Makbara in Aurangabad. So these kind of scap holding is also present there. Then next question number 28. A soil sample having a void ratio of 0.59 and it is 50% saturated and specific gravity of solid is 2.9. What will be the water content of soil sample? Okay, so in the given example, the given data is void ratio 0.59 then 50% saturated means they given here the S okay saturation value which is 50 percent then specific gravity g and g value is 2.9 and here they want to calculate the water content of the soil okay so these are the options to find out the water content the formula which is used here is se is equals to wg okay yes is a saturation or degree of saturation e is the void ratio then W is the water content and G is the specific gravity. Okay, SE is equals to WG. So here 
by putting all the given values into the formula the water content is 0.01 so option number 4 is correct here okay so there is little bit or uh, there is a very simple trick to remember this formula that uh, if you read this formula like a word then this is sevag so you can remember it like this that sevag so uh, this is the formula to calculate the water content by using the void ratio saturation and specific gravity then next question number 29 Which of the following statement is correct regarding e-waste? First is e-waste consists of various components containing infected human tissues or body tissue or body fluids. Okay, so option number first is wrong. Then second, e-waste is generated from mobile phones, TV, floppy disk, pen drives, etc. Uh, so here the option number two is correct. because e waste is the electronic waste and the option number 2 is correct then here from these options only two only two means option number 3 is correct here only two means option number 3 is correct here the next question number 30 the dash dash is made of alloy of nickel and steel alloy of nickel and steel so in this option inverse tape in this option inverse tape is made up of alloy of nickel and steel so option number 4 is correct here then these are the uh, some extra data related to linen tape or steel tape linen tape and steel tape and metallic tape so you can go through this data for more information question number 31 a single acting reciprocating pump running at 60 rpm delivers 0.05 meter cube per second of water the diameter of the piston is 250 mm and stroke length is 500 mm what will be the theoretical discharge of the pump okay so to find out the theoretical discharge we need area then length and the revolutions per minute of the reciprocating pump okay so to calculate the theoretical discharge q is equals to a into l into n divided by 60 is the formula so here q is equals to a l n divided by 60 but to calculate the area the diameter of piston is given which is 250 mm and the 250 mm in meter is 0.25 and by pi d square divided by 4 formula of area the area of piston is 0.05 meter square and by putting all the given data and the area calculated into the theoretical discharge formula the theoretical discharge is 0.025 meter cube per second here the option number second is correct for 31 question question number 32 which of the following is not primary pollutant of air pollution okay so these are the options and read first read carefully what they ask okay in the question they ask not primary pollutant okay so sometime the elimination method is good Uh, to find out the answer you know, easy and uh, in these options carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide both are from co family so first uh, second and third is the primary pollutant then hydrocarbon is also a primary pollutant but the sulfuric acid is not the primary pollutant so here the option number 1 is correct and these are the some extra examples related to primary and secondary air pollutants okay so the, okay so option number first sulfuric acid is correct question number 33 a triangular section have height h and width of base is b then what will be the moment of inertia of this section about its base okay so these are the option for the question 
same this example is previously solved on our channel and before the exam so i will provide the link of that video uh, in the i button and in the description uh, so you can go through that for this particular example so the option number third is correct for this question then question number 34 if the number of members in a frame are dash dash then the frame is known as redundant frame okay so for redundant frame the number of members are more than 2j minus 3 okay so in the option two more than 2j minus 3 is correct okay so there are different type of frames uh, and trusses related to the number of members number of joints and reaction so this is the chart which is very important that type of truss there are two type of truss first is a perfect frame or truss second is imperfect truss for the perfect frame or perfect truss the number of members are equal to 2j minus 3 okay one thing uh, you should remember that 2j minus 3 okay the sign convention is important here that 2j minus 3 is the correct option okay so, in these options, more than 2 or more than 2j minus 3 is first and four option, okay. But the only difference is the sign convention. So, you should remember that 2j minus 3 is the correct for all the type of trusses, okay. So, for perfect 2, n is equal to 2j minus 3. For imperfect truss, n is not equal to 2j minus 3. And for imperfect truss, there are two types. First is deficient truss and second one is redundant truss. For deficient truss, n is less than 2j minus 3 and for redundant, n is greater than 2j minus 3. Then next, okay, so on the basis of this figure, this next question is based. So in the first, both ends are pin ends, means hinged end. If the beam has both ends are hinged, then the value of effective length is L. Then for the cantilever beam, means one end is fixed, other end is free. Then the effective length is 2L. When both ends are fixed, then effective length is L by 2. And if one end is fixed and another end is hinged, then effective length is L by root 2. Okay, so question is, question number 35. If both ends of columns are hinged, then what will be the relation between effective length and actual length of column? Where L is the actual length and LE is the effective length. And these are the options. And here they ask both ends of columns are hinged. Okay, so option number for hinge, K is equals to 1 means effective length is equals to L. So option number 2 is correct. The next question number 36, which of the following is effect of water logging? Okay, so for water logging, first option is fall in soil temperature. First is correct. Then second, delay in cultivation operation. And third is defective air circulation. All the three are the effects of water logging. So the correct answer is option number four. Then question number 37, the deflection at the center of simply supported beam, length is L and carrying a point load W at the center is. Okay, regarding the slope and deflection, one question is previously discussed in uh, the WRD PYQ series and in detail. So for that you check the previous videos uh, which is related to this series only and um, in that video, I completely uh, describe uh, how to find the slope and deflection for the different kind of beams with the different loading and uh, different length conditions. Then these are the options for this question. And here, for the simply supported beam with length L and carrying a point to W at the center, the deflection is W L Q divided by 48 EI. For this question, you uh, you can check the previous two videos which are related to the WRD CE exam which was conducted in December. Then question number 38. Which of the following is example of non-biodegradable waste? 
So first is metal. Yes, metal is the non-biodegradable waste. Then second, tea leaves. Second is wrong. And third is glass. Glass is also non-biodegradable waste. So option number three. In the option number three, first and third. Okay, so only first and third is correct. So here the option number three is correct. Then question number thirty-nine. As per the UC. USCS classification of soil match of the following soil to its group symbol so here this is the question so in that for the inorganic silt of low plasticity okay so remember here low plasticity and low plasticity so option number 2 and 3 is for the first and second so but for the organic silt the representation of organic silt is o so for second organic silt of low plasticity ol is the correct answer then for inorganic silt of low plasticity ml is correct answer and then for inorganic silt of high plasticity first one is correct so these are the group symbols for the soil conditions then question number 40 Which of the following is a type of contract in a construction management? First is cost plus bid free contract, and second is unit price contract. Both are the type of contract. So the option number third is correct. Both first and second. Okay. So these are the some types of contracts. First is the item rate contract. Second is percentage rate contract. Third is all in one contract. then labor contract lump sum contract cost plus percentage rate contract cost plus fixed fee contract cost plus fluctuating or sliding fee then target contract bot turnkey contract negotiated contract and subcontract all these are the type of contract here the option number third is correct okay so these are the uh, 40 questions related to the wrd exam and which was conducted in this december means in 2023 and uh, now the question is on your side that uh, which exam pyqs you want okay so comment uh, which exam pyqs you want and on the basis of comment i will upload the next video and thank you for watching this video